Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. We've got another booster box opening of Lord of the Rings collector box. Eventually we'll get back to regular content, but you gotta, you gotta strike while the iron's hot and it's a lot of fun uh, to open these. This box opening is for my friend and yours, a, a loyal patron since a long time ago. Uh, Simon S. Simon, can't wait to open up your box. Let's see if we can get some serialized rings. There are some crazy, crazy things happening in the world of Lord of the Rings. We've got the, not just the serialized cards, but also the surge foils are selling for ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, there was a surge foil, Bose, not Boseju, uh, 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 the Great Henge that sold for uh, a while back. Not great. What is, what's the Roman Rock in there? The surge foil, anyway, one of the surge foils going for crazy money. And off the bat, we get the pillar of the parents. No surge foil there. So you can get these in surge foil. Uh, I'm I'm completely blinking on the name of the, the card. Oh, well, we're just going to keep going for it. But uh, some of those higher end surge foils in that set are going for, like crazy. And then obviously the serialized cards. Here we go. Serialized pull. Ah, no serialized pull. So last yesterday's video, we got, I believe, six of the realms and relics in the box, which seemed pretty good. This spell is so good. Last March of the Ents. This card, this is a card that I have to pick up. I have to get that. Uh, first Mythic off the bat. Uh, we did a video today of which I opened up 80. Oh, Ancient Tomb, Simon. Boom, this first pack is absolutely magic. Wow. All right, two Mythics off the bat. Uh, we did a video earlier today where I opened up 80 of the Commander uh, deck uh, sample packs. And that was a lot of fun, too, to see kind of the average value of that. And even in those, you're looking at like an average of about $5 um, a pack, which is absolutely wild right now. Singles, flying, Mirkwood Bats, another really good card. Here we go. Another chance at getting a serialized pull. It's right here in the slot. It's in that fourth card. So when you're going through and opening these this weekend... Uh, your pre-release make sure you don't just throw your bulk away very very important all right the battle of bywater assembled and to moot elrond lord of rivendale uh, a lot of people just really excited about this i know that this set's not for everyone and there are people who are not enjoying it and aren't excited Ooh, aon shield maiden that's in the commander decks another mythic there are people who aren't enjoying it but those uh, that seems like the minority in my mind. Uh, there are this set has been, I think, very well received from both a player standpoint and a collector standpoint. There is a lot going on for it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it holds up at, for full release, and then it'll be really interesting to see what happens in a couple months when we get the the rest of these commander or collector decks. Ooh, Nazgul. There are nine artworks of that, if you did not know that. And those are moving pretty good, especially the foils. Lots of sales volume on the foils on those. Uh, Frodo, beautiful card. Samwise the Stout Harden. And Sting the Glinting Dagger. All right, all right. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things I'm very cons concerned about in the pricing of this. Uh, one of which is the one ring card, not the one of one ring, but just the one ring card is in every commander or every bundle. So if you, um, if you want the one ring card, uh, the kind of the extended art is in the bundle and the, the value of that card is still really high. And so, um, as cool of a card as it is, just remember that it's in every bundle and there is not like a shortage of those bundles. So definitely keep your eye out for that. Uh, and if you want that, you might as well just buy a bundle for like 50 bucks. Uh, I've got bundles up on the website at gamegrove.gg. Sar and the Necromancer. I love this frame and the artwork. This is, I might even, I'm not even a Lord of the Rings fan. And I might collect one of each of that kind of ring frame as the singles prices come down. Because uh, it just looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, but yeah, $2 million bounty right now on the one of one which is absolutely wild. We didn't pull it in that pack. Um, but even the like the non one of ones and the lower serialized, they're selling in the, like, they're selling for higher than I thought. Uh, you know, we're seeing thousands, like high end thousands of dollars. Ooh, Mouth of Ranom. There we go. There we go. All right, so that's two of the Realms and Relics. Last box opening, we got six. 
uh, nasty end and a Legolas. I'm going to build this commander. I really like this one. This one's really cool. Uh, whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Legolas. And whenever you cast a spell that targets another creature you don't control, it deals damage equal to its power to that creature. Such a cool card and a really cool mechanic. And that's one of the things I think that this set really has going for it. It's not like, you know, Baldur's Gate where it was like the theme was fine or whatever but the cards were lower kind of lower power like the cards on the set are are really good no serialized there simon no serialized there uh pippin and that's a i think that's what's the most exciting for me is is that players are excited for this set there's mechanics that oh sar in the dark lord the ring on these just really pops congrats simon that's a really cool card uh people are just excited to play with the cards and that's like oh baby game off the white in full box top or foil sorry borderless for those of you who are newer to magic i see this as a box topper still because i'm old uh but man all right simon this has been a great box you've got you got six mythics already two of them are the realms and relics plus your box topper uh this set is so like just chock full a value um so far and we'll see the singles hold up now this is one of my big issues um we are getting a reprint of the commander decks without the uh you know without the serialized cards in november so singles prices this card's so good uh, it's an expensive cost but it's so good against like token decks we are getting that reprint in the special limited collector I don't, we don't even know if it's limited but the special edition collector box at the end of the year um, and so I, I get a little bit worried about singles prices because uh, we haven't really seen that happen. Um, and, and as cool as these frames are going to be, it's like, what frames are they going to put into that to help sell the product? Ooh, weather the storm or the Walter in the water. I don't know why I thought whether there's some, uh, you have a little print line right here. That's why I got distracted. Another mythic, the ring goes south. Taunt from the Rampart, Samwise, and Aragorn the Uniter. Gosh, I'm telling you, the yellow ones of these, the go the gold is so good. Wizards Rockets, Legolas, Elrond. So, yeah, that's kind of my, those are my two thoughts. My number one thought is, like, people are genuinely excited for this set. And that is uh, more more than i thought people are genuinely excited even people who don't care about lord of the rings or even people who didn't want lord of the rings in magic are starting to watch in the water kraken another mythic people who are who didn't want lord of the rings in magic the gathering lore homeward path uh, are starting to see the card mechanics oh we got the one ring so this is what i'm talking about this is a really hot this is an expensive card right now it's like I don't know. Last time I looked at it, it was like $35 or something like that. But it's in every bundle. And so, like, it it kind of makes me worried about the price of this card. Like, you, it makes me worried in the way that, like, is this card going to be, like, a dollar? You know, people who are paying $35 bucks, uh, might might have it out. But who knows? Maybe, I mean, it, it's such a good card. Maybe it ends up in, you know, in every commander as a commander staple. And there's just not enough to go around and the price holds. So, I don't know. Congrats. You got the one ring. Simon, you did it. You got the one ring. All right. Uh, yeah, so three packs left. This one seems pretty good. Lots of mythics. Uh, even when you don't get a serialized card, the set feels fun to open and it feels rewarding. And that's uh, that's going to cause people to open up boxes. The Call of the Ring, Aragorn, and Arwen wed. And there are so many cards in the set. The set size is absolutely massive. Artwork is good. Lots of good things going for it. I know. I agree with some of you. Um, I don't love the direction of, you know, kind of sacrificing the Magic the Gathering lore. Um, but it seems like it's working really well. And it's bringing more people into the game. And so at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just going to change. I've changed my attitude for it. And I'm kind of just all in on it. I'm kind of all in. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the ride. Um, yeah. Even though I don't know and love Lord of the Rings as much. Uh, I'm excited to play with the cards and like the commander pre-cons were a lot of fun. So that's how I am. Anyway, one more pack left, my friend, Simon. Thank you so much for letting me open up your box. Uh, Rivendale. Let's see if we can get a serialized ring right here in the clothes. One more pack. Can we do it? I'm hoping we can. Here we go, Simon. You got one, 
to this is it ah dang it all right all right simon i was rooting for you you got a flowering in the white tree sharky the great host reinforcements and nazgul again there you go nine artworks in there i absolutely love that many partings and a galadriel in the clothes the box the full art foil extended art whatever so that was a pretty good box you got i think more mythics than yesterday's box what do we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen mythics in 12 packs plus your box cover seems pretty good simon hopefully you have yourself a fantastic day everyone if you're looking for lord of the rings product and you don't want to buy it on a tcg player head on over to gamegrove.gg uh, and you can support the channel support the store have yourselves a great day be kind to the people around you and we will see you again next video